May 2022 and part two of our road trip. Hi, this is Janet and I'm Sly. Back in 2016, we both decided it was time to stop working, buy an RV, and start traveling the country and the world. And once the RV was pretty much the way we wanted it, we started our travels, and we've been doing it ever since. So join us as we explore this country and the world, and maybe we can even meet up with some of you along the way. After leaving Russ in West Virginia, we made our way up to Cleveland to visit my family and some of our friends. I'll tell you, my family and their friends are all Slovenian. And if there's one thing these folks know how to do, it's eat well and drink a lot. And that's exactly what we did at every single place we visited. I feel kind of bad because I did lose all the pictures from our first few days up in Cleveland including our trip to the Ferrante Winery, where we had a really good time. So unfortunately, we pick up this video again as we leave Cleveland and make our way to Johnstown, Pennsylvania to visit my sister. The trip from Cleveland to Johnstown isn't very long, but it was a nice day, so Janet and I decided to stop along the way at a lake to have our lunch with a view. And we haven't had one of these for a while, so this was fun. We picked Moraine State Park near Lake Arthur in Pennsylvania. Moraine State Park is not a very large park, but it's plenty big. And it has lots of picnic tables alongside the shore of Lake Arthur where you can sit down and enjoy a lunch. And Janet and I did enjoy our lunch. We stopped there for about a half an hour just to relax, enjoy the warm sunshine and air before we finally moved on and headed on over to my sister Bernie's house in Johnstown, Pennsylvania. Bernie has a beautiful loft right in the center of Johnstown. And that's where her husband Pat and her treated us to some more homemade brandy before we headed on out to explore the area. Exploring the area included a little bit of a lengthy drive to Bedford, Pennsylvania, which really isn't that far away from Johnstown, but the roads there tend to make travel a little bit slow. Once we got to Bedford, our first stop was a winery near the center of Bedford where we had a chance to sample some of the local wines. After enjoying some good wines, we moved on to the Bedford Brewing Company. We went to the Bedford Brewing Company specifically to see the Evergreens who happened to be performing there at that time. Amanda and Laurel have a YouTube channel of their own, and I put a link down below so you should really check it out. And if you're ever up in the Pittsburgh Johnstown area, you should really go ahead and see them perform. I think you'll have a really good time. We had a good time exploring Bedford, but the next day we decided to go out and explore Ligonier. Ligonier is another one of those really pretty towns that just seem to dot this area. After having a fun time exploring Ligonier, we headed back to Johnstown and decided to have a cup of coffee at the Flood City Cafe. Coffee was good and this was another pretty place. The next day saw us back on the road heading to Martinsburg, West Virginia to visit my niece Tori and her husband Zach. It's been well over a year since Janet and I had the opportunity to visit with my niece Tori and her husband and we were really looking forward to it. Tori and Zach follow in the family tradition of providing way too much food and way too much alcohol to drink. <laughs> but man, did we have a good time and I look forward to heading on back there at the next opportunity. And with that, we headed on back to Cleveland for one overnighter before we left Cleveland to make our way to the next part of this trip 
which is gonna be Janet's family in Omaha, Nebraska. You know, I enjoyed our time up in Cleveland, but to tell you the truth, it really was time to go. Man, it's gonna take us weeks to work off all that good food, and detoxing from all that alcohol? Well, that might take even longer. But, hey, it was all worthwhile. We had a blast. And now we get to have another great amount of fun, but this time with Janet's family. And with that, this part of the road trip finally comes to an end, and it's time for us to move on. This trip is more about visiting family and friends than seeing sights. But we did manage to go to a few interesting places, and as always, if you look down in the description below, you'll find a link to each one of those places so that you can find them easier. As usual, Janet and I both hope that you enjoyed this video, and that you'll continue to join us as we explore our next stop.